Hi guys, welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. In this video, we are going to change the SSID and the password, not the admin password, just the password for uh, for the wireless router. So um, let's let's uh, do this because in the last video we have done uh, we have introduced this router, we configured this LAN interface, we have introduced the switch, the PCs, and and this wireless router. Also. We, we saw that how we configured this particular wireless router using this laptop. Guys, this laptop is having the IP address of 192.168.2.100. So, 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 so that is a typo error. So please, please make a note of same. And also the IP address for this particular, uh, LAN segment is going to be 10. one sorry, 192.168.2.1. So, 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 so this is, this is one thing which we need to note down. Now, what I'm going to do is I need to change the SSID for that particular uh, wireless router and also the password by which you will get the access uh, to that particular or get the connectivity to that particular wireless router. That password we need to change. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go here in my web browser. I need to go. Okay. So I'll just go inside this web browser and uh, I'll, I'll give this uh, IP address of uh, 192.168.2.1 and uh, username password for that router is admin and the password is also admin. So I'll just, just get the access of that particular wireless router. Now here under this uh, particular tab of wireless, will get the option to change the SSID. Currently there is no SSID. SSID is basically the name of that particular wireless router. So let's say I'll give some name to this particular wireless router. Let's say my wireless. So this is the, this is the name or this is the SSID of this wireless router. Also, once I hit this save settings, it will get the settings will get safe and your connection will be interrupted. But I'm not doing this currently because I've already done it. So, so I'm not doing it. Uh, wireless uh, security here you can change the password by which your host can connect to your router so you're getting some option for security mode so our, uh, WPA to personal uh, and uh, then I have to select some password so let's say I put this pass this is a very simple password to remember network stuff one two three now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this setting. So here and show you that how the connection is going to get interrupted because once I save it, you know, since the SSID changed, you know, the connection is going to go anyways. Uh, you're changing the password. You're keeping the password earlier. It was, there, was, there was no password. So, so, so anyways, the connection is going to get terminated. So, so I'll just show you that how the connection is going to get terminated once you, once you click on uh, save settings. So it may take some time. Maybe, 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 maybe yeah, you can see that here. Yeah. Here it is, uh, request timeout. So the connection is interrupted because earlier there was no authentication. We, we kept in security phrase, we kept in password. So now uh, there is the authentication is failed and the connection is between the laptop and the wireless router is interrupted. So so this is one thing uh, which you can note down. I can, you can see over here also, just let me, okay. Here also you can see that the connection which was establishing the wireless connectivity between the laptop and the wireless router is not present right now. So what we can do here is I'll just open this laptop and under this PC wireless, I'll get this option. Okay. So I need to go into this connect tab and under this wireless uh, mode, I can see the name of my router. So I have to connect uh, to my router I'll just connect it. And I have to give the a passphrase or the, or the key or the password, which I have kept there, which is network stuff one, two, three. So I'll connect. So I've, I've done the uh, connection and it is, it is, it is getting connected. This is similar to, to, to one, which like you are in, in your home, uh, you have a wireless router, you connect your laptop to that wireless router. So, so it is similar to that stuff only not, not much difficult stuff. Most of the subscriber will be, will be, will be familiar with, uh, with this kind of stuff. Now, what we can do is, uh, uh, we can just have a connectivity check. Of, of our laptop uh, with the uh, with the PCs in the network. So what I'm going to do is uh, just I need to close this first of all. Okay, I'll just close this and go into the command prompt. And now I'll ping PC one. 
so i'll ping pc1 that is 192.168.1.50 and you can see that yes i'm able to uh, ping it that is my laptop is in the network it is back in the network i'll i'll again ping uh, the other pc uh, 192.168.1.51 and i'm successfully able to ping now the other thing what i'm going to do is i'm introducing another pc pc2 and uh, now we'll do it with pc we'll connect this pc to the wireless router for that you know this is the pc and i have need to change the module because by default this pc have this ethernet module with this lan connectivity so i need to remove this with this wired connection because it is going to have some wired connection but i want a wireless module over here so i will off the pc this is a very important point guys you have to off the pc first of all and uh, then you have to remove the older module and put this new wireless module so this is my wireless module wmp 300 n module so it is it is going to provide me with the wireless uh, interface now i'll on the pc again okay uh original size and now what i'm going to do is i'll go in the you can see here here that i'll go into this desktop option go into this pc wireless and now again the same way connect wireless mode i just press refresh <laughs> again the same stuff i just need to put the password so i just put the password and press connect and you can see here once i press connect wireless connectivity between the pc2 and the wireless router to wireless router is established so i'll do the testing for the pc as well whether the pc is in the is in the network or not i'll ping the uh, i'll just first of all check the ip address what ip address i'm getting for the pc 192.168.2.101 so that is good default gateway is also good now i'll ping 10. Dot, sorry uh, 192.168 1.50 and you can see that yes i'm able to ping a pc0 from a pc2 and uh, you know let me ping it again and show you yeah. so so this is a proper ping a response uh, i'll also ping uh, pc1 from pc2 uh, and i'm able to ping it so guys uh, you know we are able to ping both the pcs uh, from the pc2 so in this video how we saw that you know we changed the uh, routers wireless routers ssid and uh, also the password uh, by which the the end users will get connected to the uh, to the uh, to the wireless router that password we changed so uh, these are the two labs you know we we did back to back so i'll try to make more laps so as i told guys this is my blog and uh, if you need the uh, lab for this you can mail me on network engineer stuff at gmail.com i'll mail you this particular lab so guys uh, this is the time to stop this video here i'll catch up in the next video till then guys do subscribe to my channel and please take care thank you <laughs>